planted. I'm not sure what that means. Greetings Marines, Fayot here and in this vid we will be modding the Astra, the new burst firing automatic that came into the game that's not designated as a DMR or an assault rifle exactly, a unique beast that is oh so good. Out of the whole batch that I tried so far and I upgraded them all but two that drop as RNG mission completion rewards. This is the star of the show so far and it can go toe to toe with the best of them. Guys, this is a monstrosity and we're going to make it even better. For the purposes of this build, because it's coming out really, really early, we will be focusing on mods that became available up to Season 4 pre-Pathogen. So we're not using mods that became available with Pathogen, but Pathogen's attachments for the time being, from what I've seen, I've gotten like 10 of them. Not exactly the best stuff. So, let's see what we're going to do with this beastie, the 4C2 Astra Auto Rifle Automatic Burst. 75 accuracy, 80 stability, damage profile of 120, reload time of 110, max ammo of 648, stumble chance of 7.5, fire rate of 12.6, magazine capacity of 72, weak point damage of 200% and no handling bonus. First target gives you stability 5%, second stability 5% to a total of 10, third is fire rate 5% and the fourth is 1% stumble chance on hit for 3 seconds, stacking up to 15 times as 15% if you get pretty much 5 bursts in. So, this beast starts with very very weak point damage and what we want to do here is make it stable and fast firing so it will decimate stuff on overclock and be persistent when you are just fighting the fodder enemies and the simpler encounters let's go to small muzzle here for me we have a couple choices but uh, for the purposes of this modding guide i will go recoil booster it's 20 percent fire rate stability it's 40 percent it's flat you could go with compact flash hider for fire rate weak point damage and stability on procs but for me the best idea is to just go flat with this thing the 40% is hard to reach because you have to lay on the trigger for a bit. And uh, here you get it out of the box plus the 20% fire rate. There are a couple other choices that are interesting like the compensator that gives you stability up to 60%. But for that you have to line quite a few shots. The new slanted break is 24% fire rate and handling. Yeah. Recoil booster it is. Here we have actually two good choices. One is tactical mob if you're not running a recon. It will give you 40% max ammo additionally to the ammo you're carrying and 20% fire rate. But if you have a good recon, go spring loaded mag for 20% fire rate and 35% stumble chance for 5 seconds after reload. This thing spews lead so fast you'll be empty in 5 seconds and you'll reload and get it back up. Now for optics, what I was thinking is we need to give this beastly 200% weak point damage a little boost and went with hybrid side. This makes the gun even more accurate, although the burst firing profile allows you to lay on the trigger without uh, much of a worry of, you know, missing shots. But... It's not like a sniper rifle or a single fire DMR where you can fire over whatever distance you think uh, you should be firing from and get the best possible results. Hybrid side is very, very good because it helps two of the parts of the gun that will either become better or are somewhat lacking. With this configuration and no gun perks whatsoever, as you can see here, you'll be looking at something like this over close distances like it barely needs any compensation and over larger distances if you don't compensate you'll be looking at something like this it's a pretty steep but vertical climb if you can compensate a bit with your stick 
you will be looking at something like this. It's not the grouping that you'll be getting out of, you know, slower firing guns. This is not the Twilight or the Sokol. This is not even the Grupa, to be absolutely honest with you. Like, you can use different stuff on the Grupa to make it a bit more condensed when it comes to how it fires. But that's not the case. Uh, the point. The point here is that you can do this. And you can land this on someone's head. If you land this on someone's head and uh, you are precise with your shots and on point, this is a lot of damage, guys. It's a, it's a freaking ton of damage that it's going to hurt them really, really badly. I highly recommend you pick this up from Park. It is beastly and you're going to love it. The plasma shotgun that you see on my back is probably the one coming in next. I'm gonna pace myself because I'm streaming for a lot of hours. Last night we streamed for 10 hours straight. I would urge you to come watch those streams because you can see these guns in action in various scenarios and difficult ones at that. So I would love if you could just mod this gun to specs and come and leave me a comment in the comment section below and tell me how it performed for you because it's a lot of work going into these vids and we'd really love some feedback. Sub, like, and share for more content like this and hit the notification bell if you're really enjoying the vids and want to be notified about streams and uploads. Of course, if you want to help me directly survive these trying times, consider Patreon or get a membership on the channel right here. Until next time, be well, stay frosty, and always try for perfection, Marines. Geos.